Hello and welcome to Witness, I'm Raggy Omar. There comes a time in most men's lives when they have to choose a bride, but many men are what's known in the bridal industry as commitment shy. This next film features one such guy. His name is Rajesh Thind. Six feet tall, 33 years old, and with a master's degree, he would be considered a good catch, but Rajesh doesn't want to be caught. Now, while this might be acceptable behavior in some societies, Rajesh's family are from the Punjab in India, and the idea of not marrying is not an option. Rajesh's own father found his wife through an ad in the paper and clearly thinks romance is not a prerequisite for marriage. So, as a kind of preemptive strike, Rajesh decided to change his marketing strategy. Instead of waiting to be struck by Cupid's arrow, he headed off to the oldest marriage bureau in Britain targeted at South Asians and signed up. Rajesh's highly subjective perspective on the joys and pitfalls of dating South Asian style. An unsuitable boy. It's funny how when you get to your 30s, all your friends start getting married. I've been going to lots of weddings recently, and it's made me think, should I get married? Who to? I thought I'd better go ask my dad what he thought. I knew he was kind of concerned. Indians living in this country, even million Indians living in this country, and um, you can choose girl out of them. I can advertise in the Desh Pradesh paper. You can advertise in the paper for yeah. a wife? I find also in a paper to your father. You found that in the paper? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> I was worried about the look in my dad's eyes and of my grandfather in the picture behind him. I decided to call my unmarried sister for a bit of moral support. Dad's on at me, he's giving me such a Yeah, you're his wonder, you're his son. I reckon if you went to India though, he'd put short machetes all over the place for you. <laughs> that wouldn't be too bad, I quite like to marry a Bollywood you starlet. Know, you know, oblige him, indulge him, he's 70 years old. Will you do something, because it's really getting quiet? <laughs> Sorry, you're on your own. Abandoned by my sister and with my parents in India, I headed to Southall, London's Little India. I wanted to know if the people at the UK's oldest Indian marriage bureau could help me get my dad off my back. 
Hi, Roger Hi. How are you? I am indeed. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, if you'd just like to come in and take a seat, I'm just on the phone. Sure. Oh, you're on the, the phone, then? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. the so if you just want to take a seat here, I'll, I'll just come back to you. OK. All right. Thanks. Someone Marriage Bureau, good morning. Well, we have uh, in excess of a thousand people on our books at any given time. But you've got to bear in mind that nothing's going to happen just straight away in four weeks, um, in the sense that he's not going to end up being married, because obviously he has to get to know one another and all the rest of it. So in the meantime, there's a girl who's coming, so he's talking about 5 foot 10 inch, 33. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. New Year's rush, huh? Yeah, well, New Year, everybody wanted to be a good year for them. <laughs> Would you like to take a coffee? Uh, I can do it for you. <laughs> you know, as, long as, have to, as long as I don't have to get married. Yeah. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. I'll just put the kettle on. I can provide you with so many decent introductions. Are you a graduate? I've got two degrees. Excellent. I'm a ma I've got a master's degree. You, you are what we say then a good catch. Because I've got a master's degree? Well, because you're educated. You're single, yeah. tall. Tall, is that you know, important? That, that's important. You oh, take yeah. sugar and you take it white. I, I'll take white with the sugar, please. Yeah. Right. So people misconstrue mi arranged marriages with forced marriages. Yeah. And this is a, not a forced marriage. It is, you know, an assisted arranged marriage. Arranged marriage because it's we're, we're taking the role that the parents traditionally would take. I told Parag of my fears about my parents, hoping he'd tell me I had nothing to worry about. Before sure he hasn't been bride hunting for you out there? I hope not. <laughs> but this does worry me. That happens a lot. That these guys, lot. they just start doing with it, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Parents, see, parents are keen to see their family settle down, their kids settle down before anything happens to them. You've, you've definitely scaring me. Don't go through the pages. Okay, keep watching. You can watch your program now or go on computer. Okay. Am I, am I alone in... Kind of, do you think I'm alone in Everybody's being a scared young of marriage. man who's kind of like... Not at all. ...a bit worried about marriage? Everybody is scared of marriage, but it's because you've not done it before. Right, better give me so, the form So I'll give you the form of a brochure. <laughs> You've got a pack and everything. If your dad wants to come in and have a chat, you know, he's most welcome to I'm do not that. I'm putting you together with my dad. I'll call you, uh, I'll, I'll call you. Right, yeah. OK. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, all the best. Thanks okay. a lot. Bye. 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 I didn't like the idea of Parag and my dad ganging up on me. If I was going to look for a bride, a coward like me was going to need another way. Look, there's this website, and you can kind of search for girls. What about her? She's quite cute. Thirty-year-old lawyer, five foot three, millions of members, three point six million photos. Deeply intelligent mind. What happens if you get married and you don't in, you don't enjoy having sex with them? I'm six foot tall, seven hundred and ten thousand plus success stories. It's quite frightening. Really. There's millions of people here. How am I ever going to find out? which one I might possibly want to marry. The global marriage marketplace was making my head spin. I headed to Shadi.com's London HQ to speak to the experts. On the way, I bumped into these guys. Are you married? No. I don't know if I want to either. He's married. I don't know. You find the right woman, isn't it? <laughs> if it's meant to be, it'll be. But I do like the concept of marriage. I think it's good for family. King Tan of all that, you know? Ah. What did you say that from the government? Say that later. I know what Am I married? Yeah. Too young for that. Too young for that. Too young for that? What do you reckon is a good age to get married? These days, 40. <laughs> <laughs> you scared our receptionist today. <laughs> I scared her. I was asking yeah. if she was married. Oh, you're interested. No, <laughs> you are. <laughs> Oh yeah, right, we know professional reasons. <laughs> there is smooth roast, there is Earl's Grey, there's tea, there's decaf coffee. There I think is... I'll have a smooth roast, maybe. The independence that you get with a website like ours is that you get to find somebody on your own and you get to actually, uh, in your own space time, meet, network with that person. Relationships are complex, but you don't have to fear them. I mean, start off thinking of them as a friend. 
That's just like you're going to make a new friend. And if you like the friend, then yes, maybe you meet the friend again. <laughs> and again. Are you a member? It's not expensive. Yeah, I'm a member. Are you? Do you have to pay not for your membership? Not a very active member. Do you have to pay for your membership? No. Yeah. You have to come to see one or two or three important qualities that you're looking in a partner. Not, I want her to be the mm. best looking and the most professional and the best caring and the most glamorous and the most love. Please boil it down to a few attributes that are really important to you long term. Like height. <laughs> yeah, well, if that's one of your requirements. <laughs> You might say looks as the first thing, but that is not the thing that will culminate a relationship or bring it, bring it together. Sure. It might be the first thing that gets you attracted to a person, but it is not the all-important thing that's going to make you be together. So there's hope for me, yeah. You're all right. <laughs> you're quite all right, actually. <laughs> you're very nervous and scared, but you're quite all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God, what I do, oh my God, I'm not sure anybody's going to like my kind of a person, but you'll be surprised. What's important to you? I don't think there's anybody who can take me as I am right now. Why not? So. What's wrong with you? That's how I feel. <laughs> no, that's exactly how I feel. I just think no one can put up with me. Yeah, I'm too independent. I like to take my own decisions. I don't, I'd rather do things the way I want it to do. I'm exactly the same. I just, and I just can't imagine finding... I don't know, I just kind of have to be really honest. Maybe the two of young, you should meet up. Young, young age. <laughs> again, aren't you? You're like me! <laughs> oh my God! Like I bet they are going to have a date after this. <laughs> right, I better go. I am very busy. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it. Just 10 minutes. It doesn't work that way. You need to give more time. Okay. Of course. You can't know a person in 10 minutes, can you? Hi. <laughs> I realized Indu was right. Finding a wife was going to take more than 10 minutes. While Rajesh was not overly anxious about his lack of success so far, parental pressure was building up. Join me after the break to see how he gets on.